9.46, time now to imagine it with the chief scientist from the Imagination Station, Carl Nelson. He's got something crunchy for us. Good morning to you. Good what morning. is this? This is seaweed. Ah, excellent. Seaweed. And at the Science Center for our spooky science event, we do something called instant worms. Okay? <laughs> okay. And we do that using an extract from seaweed called sodium alginate. Hmm. All okay? right. And what's cool about it is it's a long chain polymer. Okay. Okay. And I have some here. If Just stick out your hand up. This is extract from seaweed. Extract from seaweed. Now it's used mm. in all sorts of food. I can feel it. What does it feel like? Uh, it's, it's viscous. It's viscous. It's kind of yeah. slippery. It's, okay. <laughs> it's used in all sorts of food items to thicken them up. Okay. Okay. But by itself, it's not going to be thick. What we need to do is actually mix in a little calcium ions into that to cross-link those polymers. Okay. Because right now they're just sliding past one another. We want them to link together. Sure. In order to do that, Take a little bit of that calcium chloride. Okay. You're gonna get you're gonna get messy. So just yeah, oh, throw, throw okay. it right in the water. Oh, throw it in here. Just a just little a, a little sprinkle. A little sprinkle. Not the whole thing. Not the whole thing. Just a little sprinkle, and okay. then mix it up. Mix it up right, for me. Stir. So this is gonna be our gelling bath. Okay. We're gonna take some of our uh, goo here. Gotcha. Um, and drip it in there, and that is going to gel and make our worms. Gelling like Magellan. That's right. Now, <laughs> okay, it's spooky science, so we have to have some really cool, you know, gross sort of things. So we have some, like, blood worms here. So, so you've just added some sort of uh, dye to it? We so add a little food color gotcha, to, okay. to it. So here, let me pop this in here, and Sounds I'm gonna have good. you squirt in a good dose. Just give it a good blast. All right, is this enough? Oh, that's that's plenty. Okay. Excellent, <laughs> very good, that's right. Now, um, the calcium chloride in the water is gonna cause this to gel up. But if you leave it in too long, the whole thing will turn solid. And I want the worm to be sort of gooey in the middle. Oh. So I'm just going to rinse it in a little bit of water here. Yeah. I'll take it out. Wow. And now, go ahead and grab that out of well, there. That's unbelievable. Sure. It just it turned like? into a gummy goo. It's kind of like a gum, and it's even sticking to my, uh. my strainer here. <laughs> All right. So, blah. <laughs> <laughs> so what's happening is the polymer is gelling up on the outside. And they use the same sort of stuff in jams and pie fillings, jellies and things like that really? to thicken it up. Try All this right. one. This is like the snotty yellow color. Do I need that? Nah, let's filter? just skip that. Let's just, just put it, it in right there. in Wow, look at that. Now, reach in there and pull those it guys out. It all wormed up, just like that. It's like uh, the spaghetti we showed earlier, yeah. Kelly. Go ahead and plate, go ahead and plate <laughs> that. Go ahead and hey. plate that. That's nice. And finally, you know, it's a black color. I don't know. It's Halloween. Give that a blast in there as whoa, well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm getting a little crazy. Now, Really fancy restaurants wow. will use this to actually take flavored um, liquids and create all sorts of interesting food items. Earlier, mm. I was making a little caviar. Ah. Okay, so make, you can make little spheres instead of uh, gooey stuff, gooey so that's, worms. That's not real caviar. That's not real caviar. It's just tiny little spheres uh. that we dripped into the calcium chloride solution. Now, you missed the edible blood last week, Tony. <laughs> Rats. These, <laughs> these are edible worms. Oh, no. Seriously. Really? Go ahead. Each one has a different flavor. Oh, Carl. <laughs> Why? Why does this happen to me? <laughs> ah, you give it a try. Ah, yeah. Ah, ah. yeah? Oh. <laughs> mm. oh, delicious. <laughs> so we got a little banana here in this like <laughs> snotty um, mm -hmm. yellow stuff. We you got can some, eat that one. Some, oh, I, I, All we right. Some, we got some berry flavor in the red caviar. Uh, I, I, I detect a hint of anise. <laughs> yes, you do. In fact, mm. there's a little, yeah, try, try the black stuff. Oh, yeah, that's what I had there. Yeah. So. It's just great to have cold worms in the morning you with you. Have <laughs> but no, it's like really cool science. It's used mm. all over the food industry and really fancy restaurants, again, are using this as sort of this molecular gastronomy stuff where they'll take peas or they'll take other sorts of food items, puree them up, put it into a gel like this, spherify it or turn it into noodles, much like your spaghetti from earlier today. Uh -huh. And um, you have noodles that are all different flavors. So it's yeah. cool food science, but it's also some nice chemistry as well. That's new. Oh, I was about to say something really <laughs> clever and I botched it. I was going to say, that's using your noodle. Hey, hey all right. The moment's <laughs> gone. All right. The Imagination Station is open Tuesday through Saturday. You can see the hours on your screen 10 to 5, Sunday from noon to 5. And right now down there, you've got the uh, Sesame Street Presents the Body. Yeah. And, and Spooky Science. And Spooky Science happening on the weekends, but the uh, Sesame Street is really cool for younger kids. We've got the set of Sesame Street there. It's all about your body, the insides, the outsides, and how to make healthy choices about food. Excellent. Thanks very much, Carl Nelson. Let's turn it over to Dave.